This is my favorite part. We get to tamper with the evident tape. Cut this bad boy open. We get a Jetson TK1. So we cut the seal. Inside we have the card. Quick start guide. A couple of secret compartments. Rubber feet. Mini USA USB port. Power cord and a brick. Like everybody else, we ignore the precautions for handling electrostatic devices. And there it is. So as I recall, these are mic inputs, headphone outputs, ethernet port, USB port, mini USB port, HDMI, it's a serial port. Uh, these are the connectors for the front panel, GPIO pins, this is a JTAG connector where your SD card can go. Power cable goes in there. Force recovery button, the reset button, the power button. SATA Molex connector for the power. There's a SATA mini PCIe. But the best part is that we get some spiffy feet for it. So we'll throw those in. There we go.
this heatsink uh, fan sits over the actual GPU uh, CPU card or chip. Let's wire this puppy up. Put in an Ethernet cable, a USB 3.0 hub connection, and a HDMI cable to a monitor. Add some power and we should be good to go. So the moment of truth, when you apply power to the board, green light comes on, fan starts spinning. And it starts to boot. This is the second time through, so I installed the graphical user interface the first time. So it should boot right into the desktop. Fingers crossed. And there we go. Bring up a web browser. And that's it.